so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. Welcome back to my setting powder wars. Today is episode six, and if you're watching this in the future, I will link all the videos down below for you. I will be testing out 10 drugstore setting powders for your oily skin, and for each of these setting powders, I will be testing out the all day wear test, flashback test, baking test, and the light setting powder test. So let's get into the setting powder number six, and that is the Revlon Colorstay Pressed Powder. The pressed powder that's not like the others. The Colorstay formula minimizes shine for a seamless finish without drying or caking for up to 16 hours. I tested this powder out for two days, and day one was my first impression, and I did just a light setting, so let's roll the tape. Of course, let's start with the smell test. Doesn't smell like anything. So this comes with a little pad sponge. So I'm not gonna be using this to apply because really this is best for touch-ups. It is not best for application. So I'm gonna be using my brush. So I put on my foundation, my concealer, I did my eyebrows, and the next thing to do is put this on. So I'm just gonna lightly press this powder on the parts where I have my concealer and my T-zone and the creases of my face. It definitely is brightening. It's almost like invisible, like you can't even see that I have powder on my face. So far, I'm really liking it. Right now, I'm just going to put a light layer on the rest of my face just so I can set my entire foundation. And of course, my neck, because I have foundation on my neck as well, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I only have a light layer on my face and it is looking so good. So let me just show you guys what it looks like. Here's my forehead. In between my brows. Under my eyes my nose, around my mouth, and my chin. I'll be right back with the rest of my makeup. All right, so now that I have the rest of my makeup on, we can truly see what the setting powder is doing for my makeup. So this powder is looking really, really nice. I can't even see the powder on my face at all. Like, it looks so good. Actually, I do see some texture around my smile lines, but that's really about it. So let me show you guys up close. Here's my forehead, in between my eyebrows, under my eyes. I messed this part up. I got some mascara on my, well, right here, and I didn't wait for it to dry, and I went and smudged it off, so that's my bad. So don't even pay attention to that. And then my nose, which looks really, really good. And then the smile lines. In my chin area. So yeah, so far it looks really, really good right now. But of course the test is to see how it looks at the end of the day. So I will be right back to let you guys know. Here we are 10 hours later and I have been on a walk with a mask. I also took a nap. So I think my makeup looks so good. Even after my walk while I had my mask on, I literally felt sweat dripping down my face because that's how much I was sweating and taking a nap, just kind of like, you'll see my lashes. You'll see they are really, really messed up. So let me go ahead and just show you what's going on. Here is my forehead in between my eyebrows underneath my eyes, which I think looks still pretty good, even though I, I messed up this morning. My nose looks so good, and it normally never looks this good <laughs> after a long day. And then here are my smile lines and my pores. I don't think that this powder accentuated them. I do still see them, but not that bad. My chin. My makeup definitely did not separate. It did not crease. Like, yes, I do have my crease lines, but that is no it's normal for it to look like this after this long of wear, and it does not look bad at all. It actually looks really, really good, and I didn't even touch up or anything. The only thing is, is my pores, and I'm thinking maybe tomorrow, whenever I try this again, putting the powder underneath my foundation and then on top to make sure that I really am truly covering my pores because I think if I do that, this powder is gonna be really, really good. Today's day two and I've been wearing my makeup for about 10 hours now. I have been working outside, just kind of out on my patio, editing videos and it was really, really humid. It was supposed to rain today, but it didn't. So it was just like, just humid all day. So I know I said day one that I was going to try to put powder on underneath the foundation and then of course put the foundation on and then put the powder on, but that did not work. And I tried to take a picture for you guys, but you couldn't see what 
I could see in real life, you could see the powder underneath the foundation and it just did not look good at all. So I took it off and so I redid my makeup and I decided to hold off on the hydration primer all over my skin and I solely focused on moisturizing my face and then just putting on pore filling primer where I needed it. And then of course I put my the rest of my makeup on and the powder. And so here is how it turned out. <laughs> I definitely see pores, pores galore, a lot of separation going on, a lot of separation going on here. Yeah, let me go ahead and just show you guys what is going on. So here is my forehead very shiny and then right about here that's where i'm having that separation in between my eyebrows under my eyes my nose and then here is where i can definitely see my pores here i can see my pores and then there's that separation right here. I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up, but it's definitely there. And then the chin area looks pretty good. So today was a failure, but that's okay. I still have day three to work with, so I'm definitely gonna try one more thing and then we will see how that goes. So today is actually day three and I went ahead and changed my primer. I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready. It's pore filling and I put it all over my face. It's great for priming pretty much everywhere and it really gets into your pores. So I think it did a really good job. My pores, they are there, but you can definitely see that they are a bit smoothed out. So I think that was just the problem. So if you don't have large pores, I think that this powder would be great for you. This powder really does live up to its claims except for the shine control. I wouldn't say 16 hours, but I do think that it'll get you through the work day just fine. You just have to touch up if you're gonna be going anywhere after work. So what I really like about this setting powder is that even though my oils came through a little early on in the day, at the end of the day, my foundation didn't cake or separate except for day two, but that was just because I was experimenting on the primer, only because I have jumbo pores. And this powder does not claim to blur pores, minimize pores, fill in pores. They say nothing about the pores, so I'm not gonna count that against them. But this powder did brighten and just smooth out my makeup and it did pass the flashback test. So that's a good thing. So this powder is $9 and I definitely do think that it is worth the $9. And really, if you don't have large pores, I think this powder would be great for you. So let me know down in the comments below, have you guys tried this powder out? Do you like it? Do you not? If you like it, let me know how it works for you so that way I can go ahead and do that and let you guys know what it is that works. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks.